The equipment you will find at the station for taking blood glucose are gloves, tissues, a set of instructions, some alcohol swabs, the blood glucose meters, lancets and the sharps bin. In order to take your blood glucose, pick which finger you'd plan to use. I would suggest using the non-dominant hand and then warm the finger by rubbing it. Next, take one of the glucose test strips from the container. You will notice that these test strips have two ends. Down one end is a set of copper electrodes. This is the end that will insert into the glucose test meter. The other end has a grey tip with a small yellow stripe in the centre of it. The blood will be taken up and tested in the yellow stripe, which we will demonstrate in just a second. To turn on the blood glucose meter, place the test strip with the copper electrodes facing up into the small slot at the base of the unit. The unit will now momentarily display a code before then displaying a symbol of a test strip with a small droplet of blood to indicate that the unit is now ready to collect blood. To collect blood, touch the end of the test strip perpendicularly against the drop of blood that you have created. There is a plastic window over the yellow test stripe and blood will be drawn into the test area by capillary action. Watch carefully and you will see the blood drawn up here. Try not to approach the blood droplet at too shallow an angle or the blood won't be drawn into the test area. Similarly, don't dab blood on top of the yellow test strip with your finger. As I said before, there is a plastic film over the top of the yellow test area and so if you dab blood from the top of the test strip, the blood will not reach the test area. Once again, as I said, approach the blood droplet perpendicularly with the end of the test strip. This will allow the blood to be drawn by capillary action up into the yellow test area. When sufficient blood has been drawn into the test area, the unit will beep and in 5 or so seconds the blood glucose reading will be shown on the screen. After inserting the test strip, the blood glucose meter will switch off in about 30 seconds. If this happens and you have not yet sampled your blood, simply remove the test strip and then reinsert it into the unit. The blood glucose meter will then switch back on, display the code before displaying the ready symbol. The lancets that we will be using come in either blue, which is very shallow, or green, which is shallow penetration depths. Each lancet has a button on the top for discharging the needle. On the base there is a plug, which you simply twist and pull to remove the plug ready to use the lancet. To use the lancet, press it gently against your skin and press the button. Squeezing your finger gently will encourage the blood to come to the surface. Just remember to press the lancet gently against your finger. There's no need to press forcefully and if you do, the procedure tends to hurt more. Now we will demonstrate the whole procedure from start to finish. First of all, take one of the glucose test strips and insert the copper electrode end of the test strip into the glucose test unit. Next, take an alcohol swab and sterilize your chosen finger. Here I'm using my non-dominant hand and I've also chosen to use my ring finger which I tend not to use as much. Next, take one of the lancets and pull the plug from the end. Then gently holding the lancet against your skin, press the button. You can put the lancet on the table and gently squeeze your finger to encourage a drop of blood to the surface. Next, pick up the glucose test meter and sample your blood as demonstrated earlier. Once that is done, place the glucose test meter onto the table and take a tissue and dab the remaining blood from your finger. The glucose concentration in millimoles per litre should now be displayed on the screen of your test unit. Just be sure that you use the same glucose test meter for each of your measurements in today's class. When you are done, remove the test strip and place it into one of the biohazard bags which are dotted around the room. You can also place your tissues and alcohol swabs into these same bags. 
place your used lancet into the yellow sharps bins. Now there are three things to note. Firstly, please don't put any tissues, alcohol swabs, used glucose test strips or gloves into the yellow sharps bins. Only your used lancets. Secondly, as fun as it is to do, please don't draw pictures in your own blood on the bench coat in front of you. Uncontained human blood is a contamination hazard and must be cleaned up after the class. This takes a great deal of time and uses a great deal of bench coat when so many students dab their blood onto the bench coat after each of their readings. If we could ask your assistance in this, please use the tissues provided. Lastly, if you're going to help anyone else with their blood readings, please make sure you use gloves. Gloves can be found on each of the benches and can be disposed of afterwards into the biohazard bags. You are now ready to make your blood glucose measurements.